All right, so I am gonna be using Erica's block, not printing in her sketchbook, so I made a photocopy of this page. We're gonna do a practice print right in your sketchbook, right on the same place where you drew. If you don't have this page in your sketchbook, you guys can also use this page. And again, we're gonna practice printing once, and then we're gonna roll it up with ink again, print a second time, print a third time, print a fourth time. So if you notice, I'm actually rotating this block so the same corner, right, moves around. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to ink this. So you're gonna be using one of these, ink. You're gonna use, we're just gonna start with black block printing ink, and it's really runny. So this is called a bench hook because it hooks onto your table. And then what is this? What is that guy? Not a roller. This is called a brayer. So the ink is a problem. So if you try to get some ink out, it, it oozes. It's really runny. Ink should not be drippy like this. So the problem is, if we roll this ink up, you guys can see lines, right? Can we see the texture? Where am I? Okay, so we don't want that texture. If I roll this up right now, the ink is so thick, it's going to get inside all those parts we carved. So I'm going to try to keep rolling it out the other way so I can still see lines so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a second bench hook so we're gonna have a lot of dishes that's okay second bench hook and I'm gonna roll it out so listen so now you can hear it right when there is too much ink you couldn't hear anything now that's a perfect sound and if you look at the texture you're not seeing the lines it's more, I try to describe it like a fuzzy Velcro texture. So now I want to get that same texture on my block. I hope this is showing you. Okay, so I'm going to get, so there's no more ink. I can't hear it. Oh, there's a little more ink. So now if I want more ink, like I can't see it, there's no more ink. So I'm gonna roll my brayer on this one. Oh, and now, listen, you can hear it. That is lovely. And it's that fuzzy Velcro. That's a good amount of ink. Now I can use that, ink up my block. Is this showing up? So I can hear it. Can you hear it on here? It's that same sticky texture. All right, so now I am ready to print. So I want to rotate this. I want to create radial symmetry, right? Radial design. So this looks like oops, that, that design. So that's telling me I want to print the block this way. So I'm going to put this down. Once you lay the block down, you can't move it. Like I can't move that around. So to burnish this, remember to put pressure on this, I'm actually gonna flip it. So I'm holding this together, turn it, and burnish the back of the paper. Now I can actually feel the relief block. That's the part sticking out. All right, so I've done this twice. 
Now I'm gonna keep repeating this. If I don't ink this and I just print it again, this is gonna be called a ghost print. So it's gonna be a lot more faint. I wanna get that same black inking. Looks like I didn't quite rotate that enough either. So that's why I'm practicing. All right. I think this is out of ink. So I'm gonna get more. Oh gosh, runny. Remember that has lines on it. It's no bueno. So I'm gonna take my brayer, go right on this one. That's perfect. And roll up my block. Again, I want that corner to be here. And then I'm going to flip this, mm -hmm. burnish the back. First bench hook. Excellent. Okay, and I want it to be like this one. So I think this design needs to go sideways. gonna flip this, burnish the back, there we go. So that is my radial symmetry and then to move on I'm going to get a larger piece of paper From the cart and now I'm gonna repeat this I'm gonna do it again actually I'll show you so to do this again the next step get a larger piece of paper I need to find the center so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half so I'm just creasing it in the middle right there crease to here and now I'm gonna fold it again I only want to crease it in the middle. So where those two lines intersect, that's my midpoint. New pencil. So now those lines tell me where I'm going to print. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to repeat this all the way around. All right. Can't wait to see.